Hey, what's up? I'm Liz, this would say DIY, and today I'm gonna be going a little bit deeper with the Raspberry Pi. Um, on the channel so far, I've mainly focused on the software side of the Raspberry Pi, but um, now I think it's time to start to dive into some hardware, which is what I consider to be the fun stuff. Uh, and I thought it'd be appropriate to start out with a Pi exclusive piece of hardware, that being the Pi camera. Now, for those that don't know, the Pi camera is a little camera module that's on a ribbon cable that actually plugs into the little port between the HDMI and 3.5 inch audio um, jacks. Uh, and you can control the camera, do a bunch of cool stuff all within the Pi, right on Raspbian or even other operating systems if you wanted to. Okay, so starting out the Pi camera is super basic. After connecting up your Pi cam and powering up your Pi, you'll want to open up a terminal. Here you'll text to see if the Python library for the Pi cam is installed. Do this by typing python dash c quotation mark import Pi camera end quotation and then python 3 dash c quotation import Pi camera end quotation. If you don't get any funky messages, that's safe to say that everything is installed correctly. Unless you're using either a super old and unupdated version of Raspbian or another distro entirely, this shouldn't be an issue. If it turns out that you do need to install the Python library, I'll leave a link below showing you how. Next, you'll want to check on the firmware version for the Pi to make sure everything is up to date. Do this by doing the standard sudo apt-get update followed by sudo apt-get upgrade. I tend to check for updates automatically every time I start with the Pi anyway, so not a big deal. Next, you'll need to go to the Pi configuration window, which can be accessed by clicking on the Pi icon in the top left-hand corner and then preferences followed by configuration. Click on the interfaces tab and make sure the camera and serial are enabled. After this, it'll prompt you to reboot the Pi. Once you've rebooted, you can test the camera by using the command prompt to take a single photo by typing raspy still o image.jpg, which will then take a pic and save it as image.jpg in whichever directory you're currently operating out of in the command prompt. You can also really name the image anything, just make sure you attach it.jpg. If you get any errors, that means something isn't configured properly, either with drivers or software, or another common issue is actually that the power supply isn't giving the Pi enough juice, so you might need to up your power supply. But assuming everything has worked out, let's jump into some basic examples for the camera, starting with a Python script for taking a single image. This is also a nice way to ease into Python if you're new at that too. The script I'm referencing here can be found in the basic recipes link in the description, along with many other example scripts. Just to quickly explain what's happening here, you're declaring some libraries with the sleep command and the Pi camera library at the top. Then you're telling the Pi that the camera is in fact the Pi camera, you set the resolution, tell the Pi that you want to see a preview of what the camera is seeing, wait for two seconds, then take a picture that will then be saved as whatever you put it before the .jpg extension. An important thing that isn't in the examples Python scripts in the link in the description is that you, can, you need to stop the script. Otherwise, the preview will stay open forever and you're basically in an infinite loop. So after capture, you'll see the camera.stop underscore preview command, which ends the script properly. If you navigate to the default user folder, you should see your picture. Another popular thing to do with the camera is to do a time lapse, which is taking a series of pictures over a course of time, usually separated by a few seconds, or in more extreme cases, maybe even a few minutes, if you want to get something like a sunrise or a plant growing. There are Python scripts for this, but I actually had the best luck using the command line for this. If you use the command line, you're using the built-in raspy still application, which we just used a few minutes ago to test to see if the camera is working. So in the command line, you're going to type in raspy still, dash t, 30,000, dash tl, 2000, dash o, image, percent, 04d, dot jpg. What does that all mean? Raspi still opens up the program. Dash t, 30,000 means the length of time the time lapse will last in milliseconds. So here is 30,000 milliseconds or 30 seconds. Dash tl, 2000 means a picture is going to be taken every 2,000 milliseconds or two seconds. And then image percent 04d.jpg means that the files will be named with image and then four number spaces. So for example, the first one will be image 0001, then image 0002, and so on. You can adjust the number depending on how long or how short your time lapse is going to be. Then you hit enter and your time lapse starts up. Now, I recommend changing your directory to a folder to hold your time lapse. So if you make a new folder and then change to it and then run this command from there, all of your photos will be saved in there and it will make accessing them afterwards a lot easier. 
And the link for the tutorial for this in the description, it tells you how to stitch all the picks together and make a video file, but I had zero luck getting it to work. I kept getting an error. So I'd recommend just taking the files off your Pi and compiling them on your desktop machine, whatever operating system you're running. And that way you'll also have a little bit more control too if you wanted to edit the pictures or color or anything like that. If anyone has had good luck with stitching them together using AVConvi or a command like that, then please let me know down in the comments. And now the last basic thing I'm gonna go over for the camera is taking video. I went with a Python script for this as it's very simple to understand and adjust. First off, you import the Pi camera library, then declare that the camera is the Pi camera. Then you set the resolution, start the recording while also declaring what the name of the video will be. Then set the length of the recording, which is in seconds here, and then stop recording. Very simple, super effective. I threw in a start underscore preview and stop underscore preview command because otherwise you can't see what the camera is seeing and unless you're doing some sort of IoT thing, you'll probably want to see what your camera is up to. So this has been a really basic overview of how you can get started with the Pi camera for the Raspberry Pi. I hope this video is helpful for people that have just started to get into the Raspberry Pi but are now starting to get away from just doing the software end and starting to get some hardware integration as well. Keep in mind that the Pi camera, there's so much you can do with it. We barely scratch the surface of all the stuff today. And there's also a million different ways that you can do each of the different applications that I discussed in the video, just based on preference and um, just application for the project, what works best for it. Uh, but that's basically it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, toss me a thumbs up, leave me those questions and comments below. Find me on social media, links are in the description, as well as the links to the example code that I've referenced in the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing for more similar content like this. And until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY. Mm -hmm.